Jesse, did you hear about the robber who fell into a cement mixer and still got away? Police are now on the lookout for a hardened criminal. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> Another busy day in Annal's calf, and not an empty seat in sight. <laughs> uh -huh. I've spotted a spare chair with my super X-ray vision. And I'm going to use my super speed to get there before you. <laughs> hey, how'd you manage that? Ah, a superhero never reveals his secrets. I can't tell you that. <clears throat> so, I take you enjoyed the movie then? Oh yes, Miss Molly. The Inconvincibles, the most fantastic superhero film I've ever seen. I was glued to my seat. Yeah, it was the only way we could get him to sit still. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a brilliant movie, girls. You must go and see it. Uh, like, hello, we're too busy with our Save the Bolivian Moose Ant campaign. Save, Save the Bolivian, Bolivian Moose Ant campaign? <laughs> Look, this matchbox contains Jumbo. <laughs> Jumbo? He's the last remaining Bolivian moose ant in existence. One of the oldest species of ant in the world. So we've got to be, like, very careful with him. Ah, oh, yes, quite right. He's a valuable antique. <laughs> antique. <laughs> boom, boom. So what have you got planned for your charity campaign? Well, look, for starters, we're collecting contributions from the public. And we're going to have a rummage sale here at Annals. And hey, to get publicity for the campaign, we're going to get some big celebrity to come and push over that giant tower of pennies. Oh, oh, they don't need to be that big. Uh, I could do it for you. No, no. So, is that all you're doing? Well, if you've got any better ideas... I think I've just come up with a seriously brilliant idea. Thank goodness for that. I thought that was the elastic in my underpants snapping. <laughs> Why don't you do a charity pop record? That's an awesome idea, Bass. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> I hope I come up with more ideas. Testing, testing, one, two, recording. OK, save the Bolivian Moussant charity record. <laughs> Wicked. Did you guys just want to run through the song first? Yeah, you have got a song, haven't you? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> of course we have. <laughs> hey. The Bolivian moose ants in grave danger. Here's a sad fact you won't know. Unless we raise a lot of money. <laughs> He'll be dead than a dodo. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, uh, did that sound OK? Um, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Have you guys thought of having a rummage sale instead? <laughs> well, at least you've still got the rummage sale and the coin push. Yeah, but I wouldn't leave that coin tower there. Not with the recent crime wave. Recent? It's always been daylight robbery in here. <laughs> no, look! One man crime wave sweeps through town. There's a local robber causing havoc. It's terrible. If only somebody would put a stopcock on it. Or a plunge. Or something. There it goes again. Another idea. Blimey. Even I've had one now. You had no idea too, Anu? No. That really was the elastic on my underpants. <laughs> Again for all the up clothes and stuff in Sarasta. Oh, don't mention it. Any charity trying to save the Bolivian moose ant gets my full support. <laughs> As it takes me back, you know, to my days in the Bolivian jungle. Well, I was looking after a whole colony of Bolivian moose ants. <laughs> ah! Hey, 
there you are, my little beauty. Where's your rent money? <laughs> oh, happy days. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'll be fitting that new crime-proof lock on the door in due course. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye. <laughs> Do you know, I could have sworn that was our landlord, Mr Rossiter, being... Oh. Nice. Nice might be pushing it, but helpful, yes. Speaking of which, I thought you lot said you were going to sort out some odd stuff for the rummage sale. Oh, we are. Where's your joke book, Uncle Buzz? <laughs> I what it me. Basil? Hmm? I've come to a big decision. What? You're going to try sleeping with the light off? <laughs> uh, no. I've decided what this town needs is a superhero. I'm going to be that superhero, and you can be my sidekick. Uh, that sounds great, except for one thing. I'm going to be this town's superhero, and you can be my sidekick. Hey, why don't you both be superheroes, and me and Dave can be your sidekicks? What? Me? Make a fool of myself with these two muppets. I wouldn't do it if you paid me. I'll triple your pocket money. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Some superhero. You've already been robbed by your nephew. You wouldn't find me falling for that one. <clears throat> Will you um, do it for double pocket money? No. <laughs> double, double. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stephen pays him his pocket money. Uh... Now, what about superhero costumes? How about looking through those bags of old clothes the girls dropped off? Good idea. <laughs> what a stroke of luck. Finding four superhero costumes that fit perfectly. <laughs> what are the chances of that, eh? <laughs> Pretty high, I'd say, Basil. <clears throat> looking at the script. <laughs> Introducing a new breed of superhero. Mighty Muscle! It's time to flex some! <laughs> and his sidekick, Wide Boy. Cheap out the price, Gav. <laughs> Watch the skies for the flying phantom. Fox away! <laughs> What's your name again? Huh? Oh. Derek! <laughs> Derek? What this town needs is a superhero. <laughs> Only joking, Gordon Ramsay. You'd have to be a sandwich short of a lunchbox to even think superheroes exist. And I mean, a very big lunchbox with pickled onions uh? and a gherkin. <laughs> Back in the jiffy. Someone's being robbed right outside the cafe. This sounds like a job for... The Flying Phantom! And... Derek! Hold on! This sounds more like a job for... Crook! <laughs> 
It's Rosita. I was right the first time. Now, look, I'm collecting money for charity. Give me your money. Yeah, look, look, look. Save the Bolivian moose ant. <laughs> Never end his life. Rossiter, collecting money for charity. Pigs might fly. Pigs might fly? They'll have to fight me for airspace first. <laughs> boom, boom. Typical. Mighty Muscle's first mission, and the flying flea bag has to go and botch it up. Ooh! Listen to Mighty Mouth with his flexi picks and rusty six pick. Huh? Who's that trying to get in? The girl said they wouldn't be back for hours. If it's not in, my super flying phantom instincts tell me it must be. It's a one man crime wave, ping ping! Quick, wide boy, switch the lad off. It's a deal, mighty muscle. Stand back. This is a job for the flying phantom. Folks away. It's them madness again. Get off me. Get off me. Damn it. It's Rossiter. Quick, get him out of here. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you... Hey, what? Come on, open up. I know you're in there. I've found the landlord. No, no, I am the landlord. Hello, Mr. Rossiter. Can I help? <laughs> An orange. Green. All right, where are they, eh? Hey, where are they? Where have you hidden them? I'm ready for them, I'm ready for them. Where have you hidden them, eh? <laughs> hidden? Ooh. Are you all right, Mr. Rossiter? Oh. Well, I'm, I must be imagining things. <laughs> Maybe I had a flashback to that attack that I had earlier. Have you seen a doctor? No, just four dipsticks in fancy dress. <laughs> I only came to check the uh, crime-proof lock on the door <laughs> and to give you the key. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't to see? Thanks for the key, no. Mr. Rossiter. Yes, oh, no, yes. we'll keep an eye out for those. Well, uh... Dipsticks, <laughs> especially the one in yellow underpants who looks like a muscle bound trifle. <laughs> uh... Now that was definitely your fault, Basil. You said it was a crook trying to break in. I heard you with my own eyes. You jumped on him first. I saw you with my own ears. Mike, <laughs> will you guys Get never it. stop arguing? Whoops. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping. Oh, we've so much to do. And we still haven't found a celebrity to come and push the pile of coins over. Um, how would you feel about a superhero celebrity? Hey, cool idea. Well, uh, yes, uh, I've got this friend who's a superhero. <laughs> Second only to a superhero pal of mine who would be delighted to do the honour. OK, OK, just... One superhero will do. Now, come on. The customers want serving. Might want locking up more, like. Look at this fruitcake. Can I help you, sir? And may I ask, which planet are you from? Yeah, very funny. I'm wearing this for my own protection. <laughs> I don't believe it. That's just like my little Percy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could be his twin brother. <laughs> I shall call you Cyril. <laughs> if I didn't know he was safe at home, I'd say you were Percy. <laughs> oh, bingo, say you didn't. You didn't, but I did. <laughs> Bing, bing! <laughs> 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 Report.
reports have been coming in recently of an outbreak of incidents in the southern regions. And this local resident is sure the one-man crime wave is now a four-man crime wave. Yes, the four of them attacked me. I'm sure they pinched my little Percy. <laughs> Isn't that so, Cyril? Oh, I've had enough of this. Excuse me, can you pay me what you owe me and we'll call it quits? Yeah, me too, Uncle Pass. Oh, I don't want to be Derek anymore. But you have to be Derek. You're the only one. I like you. I like you. You're the only one. No, no, no. They're arguing again. I say we go down to Emma's early. At least we can get some peace and quiet there. Besides, we can take Jumbo for a walk. That a boy? Good thinking. Hey, you two! I don't have to Don't forget to remind your superhero friend about the coin push later. It's the least you can do for us. I, I won't. won't. <laughs> and that's another thing. My superhero friend's gonna push the coins over. He'll have to get past my superhero friend first, and my superhero friend's bigger than yours, so this one bashes me. I'm sending onto you. I'm gonna set my superhero friend onto you. All spick and span for the coin push. Have you counted the takings? Yeah, didn't take long. Well, perhaps these two might help. Oh, thanks, Mr. Rossiter. Oh, you've, like, totally saved the day. <laughs> I did quite well, didn't I? <laughs> Under the circumstances. <laughs> we can relax now, Cyril. <laughs> Hi there, Hayley Wordsworth from the Bugle. Uh, we're here to cover the big coin push. Like, cool. <laughs> There's the giant tower of pennies. And our special guest celebrity should be here any time. Uh, can I help you? No, no thanks. I've, uh, come to help myself. <laughs> right, everybody! This is a hold-up! Everybody hand over your valuables or else the coin tower hits the floor! No! You can't! I can. And I will. Ah! <laughs> Here. What's making all that noise? Um, uh, that's my Bolivian moose and Jumbo. <laughs> Look. Oh. Yeah, that's a lovely specimen. I used to collect ants myself, you know. And lice too. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Mole. Just wondered when you wanted me... I mean, my superhero friend at the calf. He means my superhero friend. We need help, now. OK, I'll get me tights on. <laughs> what? Basil, oh, we're being robbed. Well, I've said it before. Enil's prices are a bit on the steep side. <laughs> Basil, we're being robbed. By a robber. Robber? <laughs> <laughs> There's no time to lose. The girls are in perilous danger at Edel's calf. This is a chance for Mighty Muscle to redeem himself. No, this is a chance for all of us to redeem ourselves. By working together. Blimey, this is going really well. Something's got to go wrong. OK, chaps, let's get out of here. Oh, no! The door's double-locked! Where's the key Roster gave us? I put it in a safe place so I wouldn't forget. Where's that? I can't remember. <laughs> Told ya. Right. Give us your purse, gorgeous. All right, but don't hit me. <laughs> Open up! It's electric man! Thank goodness! Are you here to save us, Electric Man? No, I'm here to read your meter. <laughs> OK, stand back. This is a job for Mighty Muscle! <laughs> oh, look, I've just found the key. It was hidden in my tights all along. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Angra. 
Wanda. Go and read your meter. And no funny stuff. <laughs> There it is. Whoops, don't panic. Oh. oh dear. You shouldn't have done that, mate. Boy, what are you gonna do? Beat me up with your egg whisk? Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> into the incredible song. <laughs> oh, it must have been something I ate. Like, I'll always pay you a tip from now on. <laughs> You're a hero, Mr. Annell. We should get some photos. How about one with the girls? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll just make myself look presentable. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love my mum, Jailhouse Rock. <laughs> 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 Funny fella in his uh, nose. Hey, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're just in time. The villains are taking Mr. Ennin. <gasps> and look what he's done to his clothes. <laughs> Let's go in and get him. After three. That's ours yet. Shouldn't we rescue them now? All right. OK. Now, fox away! Complaining about? He's had a smashing time. <laughs> made front page news, I know. Yeah, you two made the front page as well. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? The paper has even sponsored the whole charity, so now we can make even more money for those cute little ants. <laughs> <laughs> You lot made the paper too. A menace to society. <laughs> Funny how Mr. Rust has suddenly put up our rent, isn't it? Well, at least your Bolivian moose ant has done very well out of this. Uh, where is Jumbo anyway? He's in there doing his daily exercise. <laughs> yeah, he's a happy little guy. Isn't it great that we like saved him from extinction? Now his future is totally safe. <laughs> <laughs> Go and start a campaign to save the Peruvian goat flea. Well, you'll have to start from scratch then. Start from scratch. <laughs> 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 